Hey guys, Alicia with Ridded Beef Farm here today and we are out in the garden because I have wondered for many seasons now if squash bug eggs, if you rub them off of the leaves, will those eggs still hatch? And you know, I have not been able to find a definitive answer to that question anywhere online. I am gardening here in zone 5B. I'm in Kansas and it is late July. So squash bug wars have officially begun. <laughs> Anyhow, I've got a long row of summer squash here, which squash bugs just love, but I will rub some off and take some in the garage. And I'm also just gonna pluck a leaf off. Um, and bring that inside also. We'll find out for ourselves if this advice of coming out and just rubbing the eggs off of the leaves, if in following that advice we're really doing any good because if these if these squash bugs still hatch, if these eggs still hatch, um, we've got problems. All right, let's see if we can find some Squash bug eggs, yay! It's like the funnest thing to do in the garden, right? Now, my chickens have been out here in the garden and I have seen them go into town over here by these squash bug plants. Squash bug plants, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so I really think the chickens have helped this year. I think they're eating the squash bugs, but they're also eating my tomatoes, so it's not the best uh, method, I would say, of eradicating squash bugs, but they are helping. Oh, look here. Here we go. Lazy little squash bug. Didn't even bother to go under the leaf. You see right there on top. Okay? These are squash bug eggs. Get out of here, grass. Beautiful. Aren't they just so pretty? Just pretty, pretty bronze color. And these eggs will actually change colors the more they mature. When they get closer to hatching, they'll get darker. And you'll see that in this video, so stick around because we're going to watch these things progress. So, let's just take this one off. Let's just take this whole leaf off. Okay. And I've done that in the past. I'll just come in. I won't remove the whole leaf, but I'll just tear off the portion that has the eggs. And because I've worried about... You know, I worry about them hatching just on the ground if I knock them off. And so I've, what I've done in the past is taken a butane torch, just lit these guys up, and they pop like popcorn. Now, was that necessary to do that? Maybe that was a little overreaction. We'll find out in this video, but if anything, you know, I'll say, if nothing else, it was very therapeutic, so I, I do recommend you do that anyways. Okay, let's collect this specimen for, to take inside. Where are the actual squash bugs at? Where you at, mama? And a mother squash bug, you know, they overwinter, the ones that haven't mated. And then they come out in the summer and the heat. And throughout the course of the season, a female adult squash bug will lay up to 250 eggs. So way to go, mama squash bug. And if you live in a place that has warmer weather, I'm in zone five, I don't think this applies to me, but um, if you live in an area with a longer season, some of the daughters, you know, the nymphs that come out and grow, they'll grow to maturity in one season and even start laying eggs. So bonus points there for those. So 
Let's knock these off into a container to bring inside. Got us some nice collection here of squash bug eggs at various stages of development. You can see some are lighter and some are darker. And I'll take these ones inside to see if they hatch inside. And I'll check on these every day and update you as they progress, I guess. Chickens better not be eating my tomatoes over there. You know, you're only allowed to eat squash bugs. You're only allowed to eat squash bugs. I'm so afraid that they're gonna find you. My dear sweet tomato. All right guys, it looks like these little eggs that I rubbed off the leaf have hatched. Little squash babies. See if I can pick one of these up for you. Kind of neat. Um, so you'll notice their little bottoms are green when they've just hatched. Let me see if I can find a better example for you. See this little guy? See, see how he's green? Well, you can see actually, this egg is hatching right now. Do you see the little green part sticking out? So the green comes out first, and this egg is actually hatching right now. Oh, gross! Did you see that? He's literally coming out right now. Sick. So definitely the eggs need to be actually destroyed rather than just rubbed off the leaves because the eggs are still going to hatch unless they are eaten by an insect or something. But personally, I am not willing to risk um, leaving these eggs out in the garden. So, I think my recommendation for you is going to be to actually bring a container out to your garden and rub the, rub the eggs off of the leaves and catch them in the container. And then I think what I'm going to do is just wash the eggs down the sink so that they're totally disposed of and destroyed so that I won't have these little guys hatching out in the garden. Well, guys, these eggs are hatching. So I can tell you that it is definitely recommended that you make sure to properly dispose of the eggs when you remove them from your leaves out in the garden. You're going to want to make sure these things are destroyed 
or make sure you get them out of your garden and wherever you put them know that if you don't destroy them they will still hatch and you'll have lots of these little creepy crawlers wandering around mm. now we know <laughs>